Welcome back to our 6th standard biology class my dear students. In the previous class we completed 2 chapter. Today in this session we are going to learn about chapter 8 body movements. Dear students, today in this session we are going to learn about chapter 8 body movements. Let's start. What is movements? Do you know what is movement? Movement is an act of changing position from one part to another is called movement. What is movement? Movement is an act of changing position from one part to another is called movement. Understand? Next, why do you move from one place to another place? Why do you move animals, birds and insects? Move from one place to another place for food, shelter, etc. Why do you move from one place to another place? Because animals, birds, insects move from one place to another place for food, shelter, etc. Humans use bones and muscles for the purposes of movement and locomotion next how do animals move from place to place how do animals move from place to place do you know animals move from place to place by walk run fly jump creep crawl slither and swim Next, let us learn human body and its movements. Look at the picture. There are many parts of the human body system. Each is responsible for performing specific bodily functions. Look at the picture. Each is responsible for performing specific bodily functions such as bend, carry, push, pull, sit etc an organ in our body is made from a group of tissues that work together to help mechanisms work properly our body has an internal framework made by cartilages and bones and is known as the skeletal system what is skeletal system our body has an internal framework made by cartilages and bones and is known as the skeletal system. It provides us with stability and help us to move. Furthermore, there are different parts in the skeletal system consisting of backbone, skull, shoulder, and hip bones, chest bone, arm bones, and sin bones. Next, let us learn joints. What is joints? The point at which two or more bones meet is called a joint. Joints are responsible for movements. There are different types of joints in our body. To help us carry out different movements and activities. There are four types of joints. What are they? Do you know? What are the four types of joints? First one, ball and socket joints. Second one, pivotal joint. Third one, hinge joints. And fourth one, fixed joints. What are the four types of joints? What are they? First one, ball and socket joints. Second one, pivotal joint. Third one, hinge joints. And fourth one, fixed joints. Now, let us learn one by one. First, let us learn ball and socket joints. There are different kinds of joints when a round end bone connects another bone 
through the cavity the connection is said to be a ball and socket joint this type of joint allows movement of bones to every directions look at the picture examples include the upper arm and shoulder joints first type of joint ball and socket joints when a round end bone connects another bone through the cavity the connection is said to be a ball and socket joint this type of joint allows movement of bones to every direction examples include the upper arm and shoulder joints next second type of joints pivotal joints if a joint looks like a ball on a stick look at the picture if a joint looks like a ball on a stick it is called a pivotal joint it allows rotation in diagonal and vertical directions the joint in between backbone and skull is a pivotal joint the joint in between backbone and skull is a pivotal joint it is a joint that allows rotation next type hinge joints what is hinge joints the hinge joints are very similar to the hinges attached to the doors look at the picture the hinge joints are very similar to the hinges attached to the doors it allows extension and flexion in a particular plane for example the elbow joint it means hinge joints can move in a fixed axis next four type fixed joints look at the picture fixed joints that means when two bones join but still movement is not possible fixed joint means when two bones join but still movement is not possible it is called a fixed joint try moving your upper jaw you will notice that only the lower jaw drops down and the upper one stays intact this is the perfect example of a fixed joint our skull is also an example of a fixed joint as multiple plates are attached but the movement is not allowed dear students today in this session we completed body movement human body and its movement and types of joints thank you dears